In today's video, I want to talk about a subject that has been coming up a lot for me lately. And um, either through sessions or emails or even posts um, that I've been seeing lately. And that is about questioning whether this ascension process is just um, something we're doing to make us feel special. Or is it something um, narcissistic? And if you're contemplating whether what you're going through and what you're experiencing is because you're special and you don't want to feel that way, you're probably not doing it because you want to feel special. Or you're not doing it because you're narcissistic. People that are those things wanting it for uh, to feel special or because they're narcissistic, they don't contemplate that subject at all. And I've never said on my channel that I'm special. As a matter of fact, I made a video saying that I'm not special. This is something that we're all going through in humanity. There's just some people it's happening to sooner than others. No matter what in this world, there's always people that do it first. And they're the pioneers whatever. It's just how the process works. And like I've always said, it's a domino effect. Once people start doing it, then the rest just start also doing it. So there's no hierarchy. There's no one more special than the other. It's a choice if you want to take this ascension path. I chose to, even though I fought it. <laughs> At some point, you, you can't fight it anymore. You're too far in. So I'm just sharing with you the experiences because when I was going through it, I wish the information that's on the internet now, I wish I had it back then and I didn't. And I questioned my sanity. I went from doctor to doctor trying to get diagnosed and I see a lot of mental health facilities being built in Orange County, especially for youth, which means they must be seeing a trend towards mental health issues and it's probably not mental health issues. They are the generation of the new humans coming in and they have more open channels and minds and, and all that. And so they're going to probably be diagnosed with some disorder. So the reason I share my stories with you and the information of what's happening is because I wish I would have had that. And there's gonna be more and more people waking up and not knowing what's going on. So that doesn't make me special. All I'm doing is sharing information. But I do want to say something. Because I never want to make other people feel less than or that I'm special, I play small. And I've done that my whole life. And I've done that in my relationships because I didn't want the other person to think I'm more powerful or that I was smarter than them or that I was stronger than them, so I played small. And in playing small, it helps no one. And especially women do that. We play small because we've been conditioned that, that men were smarter and men were stronger. And I'm not talking physically, because yes, biologically men can be stronger. But I'm just talking, they're supposed to be the leaders and the powerful and everything. So when women start to feel their power come online, a lot of times they play small because they don't want the man or the masculine in their life to feel less than. And I look back and I did that a lot in my relationships. I played small because I didn't want the people in my life to not feel powerful. Yet I was shrinking and I was giving away my power. And a lot of people that are on the ascension path too question it and why is this happening to me? Like why, why me? And why am I able to go through this? Why am I able to evolve and other people in my life aren't? And they get scared that maybe it's something narcissistic or that they're special. They don't want to be that way. So again, they play small. And 
I'm still doing it. I've discovered what that light bar across my chest is. And I, I'm not sharing it because I'm playing small. And, and I don't want others to think that I'm more than them. I don't want others to think that I think I'm special because I don't think that way. I'm just further along the path that everybody's gonna be on. So I do sacrifice, still I'm sacrificing my power so other people don't feel less than. But I've discovered that I'm not sharing a lot of important information because of that. So is it really helping anybody? No. I think there's a lot of people playing it small and giving away their power. And, and I catch myself doing that a lot. So if you are on this path and you're contemplating, is this just something I'm making up because I wanna feel special or it's narcissistic? If you are even contemplating that, that shows you that that's not coming from that space. And this is all about us coming into being who we are and not being afraid to divulge who we are. And if nobody came out and was talking about the things that they talk about and these experiences that I have, other people would just think that they were insane and they would go get medicated or they would be in a facility. And I, and I want other people to know you're not alone in these experiences. And so many people contact me and say, thank you for making these videos um, and letting us know that we're not alone in this. And that's really what it comes down to. And I think the more honest and open that we can be about our experiences, the more comfortable all of us will be talking about them and not judging it or judging the people that are talking about them. So basically, just don't shrink to make other people feel better. So it's something I, I'm still working through because I'm doing it at this very moment with a lot of things that I want to talk about. So it's something we are working through obviously um, as a collective because it's coming up a lot. All right, so that's it for today and I will see you on the next video.